Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Uh, before I get into the main uh, topic of today's video, uh, I just want to say a big thank you to Chris from Astro La Vista, uh, formerly known as DIY Astro. Now, Chris uh, saw my um, little problem I was having with the camera, one of the reasons why I've not uploaded in, a, in a, such a while. And uh, Chris uh, said he had a, a GoPro camera kicking around that I could have, and, and he sent it me f uh, free of charge, just out of the kindness of his heart. So thank you so much for that, Chris. Uh, you're an absolute star. Uh, I'm sure you're all aware of Chris's channel. If you're not, where have you been? <laughs> uh, I'll leave a link to uh, Chris's channel in, uh, in the description below. Now, one thing that can often get overlooked uh, especially when you're new to the hobby, is the stars themselves. Now, we can, I think we're all guilty of getting a little bit overwhelmed by uh, looking at the gas giants and nebula and the moon um, and things like that. And we often forget that there's a lot of beauty in the stars themselves. Um, I mean, you've got so many different types of stars. I mean, a star is not just a star. You've got uh, you've got variable stars, which are stars that get brighter and dimmer. Uh, you've got double stars, um, and you've got coloured stars, uh, which is the uh, main subject of uh, today's video. Well, in fact, probably the most beautiful double star up there to point your telescope to, and that is Albireo. Albireo is not only a double star, but it's a coloured double star. And trust me, if you've never seen it, you're in for a treat. It really does look beautiful. So how do we find it? Well, first of all, you need to find the constellation Cygnus the Swan. Okay, now this one's a really easy constellation. It's part of the Summer Triangle, which I'm sure you're all aware of. If you're not aware of the Summer Triangle, I'll leave a, a link in the uh, description um, where I go into the Summer Triangle a little bit more detail. So once you've found Cygnus, um, which is like a big cross. Now Cygnus is also known as the Northern Cross for obvious reasons. Um, and we've got the leading star in Cygnus, which is Deneb. Now, if we go to the beak or the base of the cross, if you like, you will find Albireo. And uh, at, when you just look at it with the naked eye, it just looks like a relatively faintish star. Uh, but you put some uh, small optics on there and uh, it's going to look something like this. And uh, as you can see, I mean, it just looks... And I've always said, uh, photographs never, no matter how beautiful photographs are, they never do things any justice of actually seeing them with your own two eyes. Now, as you can see, you've got this beautiful, uh, bright uh, yellow star, and just underneath it, it's companion, or above it, <laughs> or at the side of it, depending on how you're going to be looking at it. Um, you've got this beautiful sapphire blue star. And it, it, it really is a sight for sore eyes. It really is. It, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing to look at. And it's one of those targets that I actually found by accident, completely by accident again. I found it as a kid when I was just sweeping around that area of the sky. And all of a sudden, this color just come into the field of view. And it was just like, what on earth is that? I thought I was seeing spaceships at first. <laughs> uh, but no, obviously, I, I learned to later found out that it was uh, Albario. And uh, I really do encourage you to go and have a look at this one. Now, even though this is a double star, you won't need a lot of power to actually split it. Uh, a lot of double stars, you do need to start piling on the power. Uh, just start off with your lowest powered eyepiece and gradually build your way up. Okay, you can always increase power. It's always better to start off low and increase the power until you get an image that you're happy with, happy with basically. Um, and this is another target that can actually be viewed with binoculars. Uh, the only thing is, now, I love binoculars, I mean, uh, binocular astronomy, uh, but I've got to be honest, it can get quite tiring. You know, when you hold like this for any length of time, it can get a little bit tiring. So if you can mount your binoculars to some kind of tripod, just a camera tripod will be fine for it, just to hold things nice and steady and you will get more chance of actually splitting them because binoculars will actually split. Um, I was looking at Albario last night actually uh, through the, I haven't got a Mandy at the minute, 
through uh, some 12 by 50 binoculars and uh, I've got to be honest I, I knew what I was looking for but I could definitely see that distinctive amber and uh, blue uh, just, just glinting through well there we go for another video um, I hope really hope if you're watching this that means I've actually managed to upload a video this is about the third or fourth time <laughs> I've tried to do it apart from my camera breaking down I've had so many other issues, uh, oh, so I'm really sorry folks, hopefully now if you're watching this, I'm back into some kind of system, I am still on borrowed equipment <laughs> at the minute, uh, so hopefully my equipment will start improving, and if the exposure and the focus has been going in and out, throughout, I haven't watched it back yet, like I haven't even edited it yet, so I don't know, I apologise for any uh, bad quality or anything but like I say I'm um, hopefully now we're back into the swing of things well thank you so much for watching guys in the meantime go and find yourself a beautiful double star and I will see you on the next one bye for now